Hi, welcome. Today I am going to show how attendance sheet and timesheet can be prepared in ERP Next and also how to make payroll entry based on both attendance sheet and timesheet. So let us start. Firstly, I am going to show how to create attendance sheet. Attendance is basically a record which states whether the particular employee is present on a certain day or not. There are three methods for creating attendance. They are first one to attendance list, second one employee attendance tool, and third one upload attendance. So first we will go to attendance list. For that, go to HR module. In this, click on attendance and Click on create a new attendance. In this here, you have to give an employee name. Uh, I'm just selecting an employee. And here you have to select the date. And here you have to select the status. I'm selecting present and then save and also submit it. Okay, so the attendance for the employee has been submitted for the state. And uh, if we want to mark attendance for a particular month, uh, for that, um, here you can click mark attendance and here select the employee. I'm just selecting the employee called Nikhil and select the month i'm selecting january and here select the status and click on mark attendance so the attendance for the month january has been submitted for those employee now the next method is to employee attendance tool. For that, go to employee attendance tool. Here you have to select the date. And here you have to select the employee. If you want to select all the employees, click on check all. Now all the employees have been selected. So I'm unchecking those two and marking as present. Now uh, you can see the attendance for these employees have been marked except those two. Now I'm selecting those two employees and marking as absent. So when we take the attendance list, you can see attendance uh, has been marked on that date. All right, uh, now next method is upload attendance. For that, go to upload attendance. For, uh, so with the, this, what we do is uh, we can upload the attendance in bulk. So it can be supposed from date uh, 17th, 17th March and to date also 17th March itself. Now with get template, uh, we will get an Excel template like this. You can see here. From those, uh, we can, from those, we can mark uh, status of all these employees, uh, whether they were present or whether they were absent or whether they uh, took half day leave and all that thing can be added in this particular list. Uh, so after updating the status uh, of all employees, we can upload it over here. Now you can see it is uploaded. 
Now let us take the attendance list. So you can see the attendance has been marked. Now let us see how to make payroll entry based on validate attendance. For that, go to payroll module. And here, click on payroll entry. And click on add payroll entry. Here you have to select the posting date. I'm just giving 2nd February. And here you have to select payroll frequency. Uh, I'm giving monthly. And here I'm giving 1st January to 31st January. And click on validate attendance. Here you have to select the employee. I'm just selecting the employee ML. Uh, before that, uh, make sure that you have marked attendance for this date. Uh, so uh, then save it and create salary slip. So you can see here salary slip uh, for the ML, for ML. Mm, here you can see the amount uh, 2351.62. Uh, let me go to the employee list and uh, and take the salary structure. Same band. In salary structure, uh, we can see here uh, the basic salary is two thousand, and here, here, actually, uh, payment is is twenty seven. So the basic salary is one thousand seven hundred forty one point nine four. So we are submitting. Now we have submitted the salary slip. And next. Next, we have to make bank entry. Before that, uh, you have to uh, give a payment account here. and make the bank entry and submit it. Here you have to give reference number and reference date. Then save it and submit it. Now uh, we make the payroll entry based on validate attendance. Now we will learn how to create timesheet. Timesheet is an hourly record of an employee. It shows all the information regarding how much work an employee has done on which activity and for how much amount of time. Before going to timesheet, let us consider, suppose we are manufacturing issue. Uh, let activity be like restaurant uh, leather cutting and second one assembling and third one quality check. Uh, so first we need to create a project uh, called shoe manufacturing. For that, go to project module and take the project list. Here uh, I have already created, so I'm taking. In this, from here itself, we can uh, create a timesheet. So I'm clicking on timesheet. 
show you how to give the company. And here, select the customer in customer. And select the employee. I'm selecting an employee. And here we have to give the activity type. So we have already told that uh, the activities included in shoe manufacturing are uh, first one leather cuttings. Here I have already created the activity. So I'm selecting and give the time from time to uh, this data. Time is 12.34. And give house. I'm giving one house. And second activity is assembling. And here time. And let it be two hours. And third activity, quality check. Here we can see it's three time. Let it be one hour itself. Then save it and also submit it. So uh, we have created the timesheet. Now let us see how to make payroll entry based on timesheet. For that, go to payroll, payroll module. And here, click on payroll entry. and add payroll entry. Here you have to give posting date and I'm selecting frequency as daily. And here, uh, check this box, salary slip based on timesheet. Here we can give the project. and also employee. I'd say here payment account. Then save it. And also create salary slip. Uh, when you take the salary slip, you can see here uh, total working hours four and hourly rate is 500. And here hour time is 2000 and uh, basic pay is 1000. So total 3000. Then submit it. And now we have to make the bank entry. Make bag bank entry. And submit it. So we, uh, we have to give reference here. And also reference date. Then save it and also submit it. So now we have uh, created the payroll entry based on timesheet. So I hope you found this video useful. Thank you.